In today's video, I thought we'd take a look at some cringe corporate culture. If you don't know me, I absolutely hate corporate culture, I hate corporate fluff, I hate corporate business jargon like KPIs and business verticals, and I think it's just the most absolutely unnecessary thing in the entire world, but um, everyone's too afraid to say it. So I thought in this video we would look at LinkedIn and look at some of the cringe things, you know, things, th things need to change. This is why I'm a big fan of working remote. So let me just go ahead, let's start with the first one here. So, still at work, working hard, up 12 hour days every day, been crazy, been great. Peak's a great place to be. Here's the fantastic recruiting team helping me out with some sourcing, crushing it. Some great opportunities. Uh, reach out to me if you're looking for an account executive role. So here we have one of these videos on LinkedIn where they're like, we're working hard every day, 12 hours a day, and then he shows a clip, the people there that are also there, and it's dark outside, like, just go home, 12 hour days every day, and he's like, we're definitely hiring. No one wants to work 12 hours a day, and you're not making this look like a pro. That's just setting unrealistic expectations. Also, one other thing I'd like to point out is when you're on LinkedIn, there are some hilarious job titles. What is Keeper of Culture and People Development? That is the 2019 way of saying HR. B-S-H-R, four letters you need for this. All right, guys, give you a quick tour of Peak. This is our Utah Sandy location. Uh, so we got these little sound booth areas. You hear how loud that open office is? That's, you have to have a separate booth to go make a phone call. And then once a week, we have a, something we call Peak Nick. So we cater some lunches. This week was some Chinese food. I don't know why software companies do this, but they always have these clear meeting rooms. You're sitting in there doing your stuff on your whiteboard and everyone can just look in. Can no one just have any privacy anywhere? Just open everything. Everything's just open. Why don't you just not wear clothes to work at this rate? This side of the company, we've got some food. Maggie crushing it. We got Shane. All that food's all down here. Got some Jenga going on. Some soccer. And then we've got some cornhole happening over here. It's a good place to be. So we work hard, we play hard. I would say work hard, go home is our culture. If you heard him right there, he says we work hard, we play hard, or we work hard and go home. One video ago, he was like, we're working 12 hours a day, every day. So, still at work, working hard, up 12 hour days, every day. So what happens when you just want the food, and you don't want to do any of these activities, and you would just like much rather not spend this time to go do this and like take this hour to just leave early instead like some sort of like artificial forced socialization i mean i don't know it's better than the ones in silicon valley he said they only do it once a week but still what happens if you're the guy that just wants to do his work and go home and like people are now people are loud and they're yelling so even if you don't want to participate in this you have to sit at your desk and deal with all these other people doing this hopefully you get filtered out as a, as a candidate um, but sometimes you just need a job right and so then you get the job and you're like holy crap this is not a fit for me anyway i am Looking for some top talent that likes to have a good time, work hard. When, when, when HR people say, I'm looking for some top talent, let's define top talent. What does that mean? Your ability to pass the interview, your ability to make money, your ability to make the company money. What does top talent mean? We don't actually know. This is just one of those buzzwords that gets thrown around on LinkedIn. Hard work beats talent every time. So when companies say, we hire based on talent, you should be hiring based on merit and hard work and what people have earned, not talent. So there's a lot of people in this world that have worked really hard for what they have and you're going to dismiss that and just call it talent. I don't know. I'm just picking, I'm picking a bone with them. It's, it's just one of those buzzwords on LinkedIn that just gets thrown around by people like this guy. Does anyone notice like his little, his little like boss level thing down here? Like he's supposed to be like in the green as like a super cool boss because he's doing like, all right. So here's one that is super cringe. This is what happens when you have mandatory work meetings or work functions and uh, you either stay at your desk and keep working or you go to these really dumb ass work meetings. Yikes. This is pretty much all I have to say for that. HR was like, you play the guitar, right? And the guy was like, oh yeah, I've been practicing the guitar for a while. Hey, you wanna do our uh, annual work meeting this year? Oh yeah, sweet. Welcome to corporate America, people. I don't know if you guys have been hired onto these kinds of jobs yet, but th at some companies, specifically these fun companies, they make you take these team photo pictures and it's always awkward and no one ever wants to do them, but they're like, hey man, new hire, we gotta take pictures and make it look like everyone is having fun no matter what. What if I don't wanna take a picture day? Are we, are we, are we back in like kindergarten now? Are we getting yearbook pictures for this? And you wanna know what's really funny about this canopy here? They just let go 30% of their entire company 
a month ago. They did, we just opened our brand new building and then they literally let 30% of the company go right after that. How do you, how do you not have the foresight? Here, let me show you. More open offices, more glass door meeting rooms. This was made five months ago. And one month ago, they let go 30% of their company. You know the people at the top of this company, you don't just lay off 30% of the company. That is like a strategic business decision. And so, yeah, you can make this super cool. We just opened this brand new building. A few months later, let go like almost half your workforce. So this is one of those videos where when the company hits like a sales target, the company like celebrates when they like meet like some first time annual revenue goal or whatever, and then they do this celebration. Let me, like, I'm always talking about how you should be building your dreams. I would just like to take a minute here to congratulate all these employees for buying the CEO a new yacht. Good work, guys. Not dreading a Monday is a great KPI. That is the most, come on, who says that? All right, so here's a good one where uh, they're like, this is how we celebrate birthdays at our company. <laughs> I feel like if this ever happened to me at work, I would I would I would get up and I would walk out and be like, why do you think this is okay? This is obnoxious and loud and like maybe you think I'm anti-fun. These kinds of videos make me just want to get on a rocket ship and go to Mars because this is just grown adults here. This is what you do with your bros when you're at like when you're out at like the Mexican restaurant and you like play a prank and you're like, oh it's his birthday, and then like they come over and sing to you. This is not what you do at work. It's not fun for anyone but the person at the top in HR who th who thought this was gonna be fun. So there's this comic that I like to remember. It's where the CEO is looking at one of his workers and the, and the worker is like, wow, boss, that's a great Ferrari you got there. And the boss is like, keep working hard and I'll buy another one. That's what this video is. And then here is another one of how we end our day. I don't know if I got a job. Yeah, yeah, this is how we end our day at peak. I bet you they were like, oh guys, guys, it'll be good for our LinkedIn. We'll look like a fun company. And like, we like we, we, we read the internet too, right? Like we're, we're hip with all the memes and stuff. Like I don't, I don't want to seem like I'm anti-fun. When you're at work, do work. I'm trying to mix it in and try to make it super fun, but then hold these, hold your employees accountable to like the T when you're constantly distracting them with all these fun activities around the office. But then at the same time, you're like, well, your performance was lower than, well, no sh Sherlock, you got freaking cornhole over here and you want me to go play it, but I got to make these sales and then you're going to discipline me for it? Come on, man. When you're at work, do the work. I, I don't think I'm necessarily like difficult to work with either. Like I like to have fun. I like to, I like to meme. I like to joke around, but like it's just obnoxious what these companies do sometimes. Um, if you're, if you're not in the software industry yet, this is what a Friday four o'clock team meeting looks like. You can pretty much see that everyone here just wants to go home. I was like this guy in the back here. Like, yeah, I'm required to be here. Fantastic. Let me just play it. Um, we also have Andrew Young. He is a PM from Canopy. He will be starting during the September. Um, this girl right here, she's just like, can I go back to work, please? Just let me go back to work. If you've never seen what an unnecessary meeting looks like, meetings that have meetings where people just have to show up, this is what that looks like. You could just look at their body language, arms crossed, hands in their pockets. No then and then the HR lady is like, wait, let's make a video to look look at how like we love to get together and like stand around and like look at look like we all work together as a team and like like this dude's over here on his phone in the back. <laughs> I just want to talk about this picture for a second. It says, I'm obsessed with the view from my desk. We sure are lucky to live in such a beautiful state. And while I'll give it to her, the view is nice. The desk setup is not. There's not even a wall here. Just there's a chair and a monitor and a chair and a monitor. Not even a wall separating. No privacy whatsoever. That seems just to be the new thing. Just transparent everything. Transparent meeting rooms, transparent call rooms, transparent literally everything. More glass, micromanagement. We need to see what our employees are doing. You know who this setup is good for? This setup is good for the manager. And you know where the manager would be? Right about where this person is standing, where they took this picture from. That's who it's great for. You can see what everyone's doing. No problem. And, and you try to market that to them with a good view. At least put some walls here. Like, Anyways, guys, I could look at LinkedIn forever and just look at all of the cringe corporate culture that's out there and you know just the all these made up names that people are using now dollar generator extraordinary oh so your sales well why don't you just call yourself a salesman oh, i'm dollar generator is that your rap name i'm very pro remote i thought i'd just look like a complainer 
But now it seems like I'm not the only one that thinks that. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more cringe, let me know in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys avoid these kinds of jobs. Do your research before you get the job. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.